Hello everyone and welcome back to Vlogmas week 4. We are at the last vlog video for Christmas, which I'm quite sad about really because I've actually really enjoyed doing these videos with you guys. It's really nice to do some Christmas festivities and just get into the Christmas spirit basically and uh, especially during this time where the pandemic is just a bit crap isn't it so it's nice to just have these videos to watch maybe with a cup of hot chocolate sat in bed or wherever you're watching this i really hope you've been enjoying these videos i hope that you continue to watch my videos if you've just randomly jumped onto this video really hope that you guys stick around and subscribe of course and if you are enjoying these videos please do give this video a thumbs up so today we have a very very busy day because i have a lot of things that i need to do for brands today and i also have so many things here that I need to wrap for Christmas like I haven't even started wrapping I've only wrapped Lizzie's presents and I've already get them to her and I have so many things to wrap it's ridiculous and I also need to get Luna's present sent off in the mail as well so I need to do that oh my gosh I was so tired I literally didn't even sleep very well last night I kept waking up well no I didn't keep waking up I fell asleep at like 10 o'clock with my laptop and my phone in front of me holding me I was that tired and then I woke up an hour late I was supposed to FaceTime my but and then Obviously that didn't happen because I fell asleep. Woke up an hour later, couldn't get to sleep for two hours because my head just would not stop thinking. You know when you have random thoughts in your head and you're like, shut up, I just want to sleep. It's literally what my head was like last night, so I couldn't sleep for like two hours. So I uh, woke up this morning, got up, done the bed sheets, as you will see. And now I think I'm going to have a shower because I have a few hair styling tools that I need to do an ad for. So that is exciting. Really excited for that. You would have seen me open that in my last video of vlogmas week three at the end of it you would have seen me open it so go and watch that if you want to go check that out i have a to-do list today so that i actually get things done so i've got a schedule sunday's video which is vlogmas week three breakfast which i've just done and i filmed a pancake igtv let's just put you down that's making life easier so i could talk to you so i filmed a cute nutrition skinny pancakes red velvet version um, video but Christmas version I'm so sorry that I'm yawning I'm literally so tired I've also got to wrap loads of presents don't know whether I'm gonna get that done today because I have so many brand collabs that I need to film today and like take pictures on things I need to put washing on need to do Instagram upload share last night's video which is a Primark haul Primark Christmas haul if you want to check that out and um, that is on my channel and I also need to have a shower and wash this hair because I want to film with this styling tool that I have basically also a very exciting thing that came today is as I just said, styling tool. This is another one that came. So this amazing brand called Lily England sent me these little bits and pieces. So I have a detangler brush and comb set, which is their rose gold edition, I'm pretty sure. Yes. And we also have a matching curling tong from them, which is also rose gold. So that is beautiful. So I'm really excited to get using this. I think I'll do a hair care routine and like how I style my hair, etc. kind of thing. Especially with short hair because I actually decide that I want to grow it out a bit more because I do feel like it's quite short. Like I actually realise it's quite short. Obviously I wanted the layers cut out. But like as much as I love short hair, I miss my long hair in a way. So I think I might have to grow it out guys. Hmm, yeah. So I'm going to go and probably have a shower. Film that video that I'm on about with my hair tools. I've, oh, I've got loads of things to film today. It's just a crazy day. It's very busy. And I need to actually crack on with it rather than pro procrastinate the day away. So I need to not do that. So I'm going to go have a shower and get ready for the day. And possibly film a makeup video. Possibly. Anyway, let's get into this video. So I want to show you a little bit of behind the scenes of me filming this ad, basically. So this is the product that I am shooting today, which is the Revlon... It's the new smaller brush of the One Step Volumizer Power of a Dryer Volume of a Styler. So this is basically a dupe for the Dyson. What is it? Is it the Air Wrap? I can't remember which one it was, but you know, you know what one it looks like. Um, but yeah, it's like a dupe of the Dyson. Ex Please excuse the mess of like the wires everywhere. Please just d don't look at that. Um, so I have my little phone tripod thing that I bought from Asda for ten pound. It has like a little ring light on it, but the ring light isn't powerful enough to brighten up the area that is down here because I literally don't have any lights here. So uh, I thought I'd just balance that on my uh, side table. So this is behind the scenes even of uh, this little uh, clip that I'm going to be doing. And I have my Sunday video scheduling as we speak. And I also have an I saw it first package arrive because I bought a few more things in the sale. I'm going to have a shower and then show you that afterwards when I'm ready. 
Okay, I did now short makeup done, hair done. Feels pretty good actually. It's really, really sleek and shiny and smooth. All the S's, okay. <laughs> so I've got some Christmassy makeup on because I'm about to film a video with my positivity package. So I'm just going to go help my mum wrap a Christmas present up and then I'm going to set up filming and then film that and then I'll show you what's in my I saw it first package. Okay, my video is all filmed in here. I might do this with you in this video actually thinking about it. There's some lovely things in here that I might um, do later on. I wanted to show you what is in my I saw it first package whilst I've got the ring light on and all the lights like so much better. So I'm going to open it up and show you what is inside. Also, you know when you get a delivery from Hermes, what is this new play scammy thing? Because I had an email saying how how it says you can watch a message, so I'm not really sure what that is, but um, I'm going to have a go. I'm just going to download that app and see what I saw it first have done. What the hell? Oh my, okay, this is quite snazzy. Tara Maynard's campaign is playing through my phone, onto the package. That's so cool. It's a shame that, oh wait, no, view full, yeah, view full screen. Look at that. It literally just come from my phone. That's so cool, I didn't know that they could do that. That's amazing. Anyway, let's get into the package. And I'll rip it right open. So I made an order the other night because they had some uh, t-shirts for like four pounds. I was like, okay, I need some of those. So I ordered a few, I ordered four actually. And I bought, I actually have a couple of these in some colours already, which you'll see in my Black Friday sales haul if you've seen that already. So I bought this top, um, again, yeah, I have this in like a nude stone colour. And it's kind of in a grey. I didn't realise I ordered it in grey. I'm sure it was brown or something. I'm too sure. That's a bit confusing. Okay, they are not the same colour as what they are on the website. That is very disappointing. Let's look at the other ones because on the website they look like a nudie brown. Like what? This is the baby girl top. Now, I'm sure this was, like, not this colour at all. What? How does that even work? Like, it was, like, it looked more like, oh, that's really annoyed me. I had to send the skirt back to, I saw it first last week, and I forgot to put the invoice in the parcel. So I'm really hoping that they get it, and then I'll have to email them and say, oh, my parcel's been sent back to you, but I forgot to put the invoice in it. Okay, so, yeah, this looks more like a, oh. It says charcoal, but it looks like a chocolate colour. I don't know whether you'll be able to see that very well, probably not. Um, but yeah, it does not look like that at all. Like the colour is completely different, unless that's a preset that they've used on it. They're literally both the same colour. That's really annoying. That is really annoying. Great. Anyway, so uh, they were £4. Pounds. It's not really that bad, but I'd wear them anyway. But it's just charcoal. I thought that they were chocolate. Great. Right? Oh well, doesn't matter. Anyway, I've got one baby girl on it and uh, this one as well. Ye St. West. We all know what that's copying off. And I also got this one, which is a woven free top. Oh, you know, it's literally freshly printed. Weird look, it's gonna end up coming out in the wash. That looks pretty cool though. It's very different for me. I feel like my style is changing so much, but this with the dad jeans and some Air Force Ones, I feel like that looked pretty cool. Look at that, it's very, very vibrant actually looking at it. I like that, that was four pounds. And then the last one is a bodysuit. It says basic on it. Now this is the right color because it's chocolate. Very, very slinky. But I kind of wanted that around like, the neck area to be quite slinky. So I'm hoping that this fits nice, but yeah, as you can see, it looks nice with jeans, I suppose. Yeah, hopefully they will be nice on and they won't look really cheap and pants but yeah that is my um little mini haul for you in this video um i'm going to go food shopping now do some other, other things that i need to oh guys you should see this big pile in front of me that is pure presents to wrap and it's it's literally half of it it's ridiculous i'm just going to show you look at this mess wow so we've got loads of selection boxes there adam stuff luna's box um things in there for my brother um, Boohoo package with presents in, some a box there that's for Adam, there's like a bottle of alcohol down there, oh it's just madness, anyway I'm going to put all this away because this needs to go now, um, and then I'm going to go out. So it's quite a few hours later since I actually picked the camera up, so we've been to Aldi and Pets at Home to grab some bits and pieces from my brother and his partner, I've been editing my ad video getting that finalised um then Adam come over and then we went to go to Costa to have a drink it was shut don't know why but that was a bit sad so we ended up in Asda 
I bought some uh, little gifts for Christmas for people. I'm very close to finishing. I've got one more person to finish buying for and then I'm almost done. And we've decided that um, we might take some chocolates up to the Skinthetics ladies because they've been absolutely brilliant with us this year and they've been such good help so I thought we'd take um, a box of chocolates to them tomorrow and head up that way uh, most likely or one of the days and we also stopped on the way home to McDonald's and Adam had a coffee because obviously we didn't have a coffee and then I had some chip as per usual so now we're going to have some dinner and chill for night and watch um, a Christmas film what was that film called earlier that you said the Christmas Prince the wedding and the, ba and the, and the baby or something where's the third one so we will watch that on Netflix oh I just realised my makeup's come off randomly in just this one spot I'm going to get my nose as well oh well, mask life I suspect so I'll most likely see you in the morning or I'll show you what we have for dinner probably yeah probably. well, we have our snuggles we have our snuggles Belle oh oh are you big baby big baby um, um, um. Um, 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 um. Excuse my doggy voice. But she's so cute. She's so cute. Mm. Ow. No more leg. Say hello. Hello. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> Hiya. Hello. <laughs> she hates camera. You hate it, don't you? Oh. Christmas film time. And we finished that film and now we're on to the next film. This is actually the third film because we've seen the first one which is The Christmas Prince. Morning! It is day 18. 18th of December. We've got a little bit of a reindeer. Hmm. So today we're going to do some Christmas shopping. Excuse the fact that I've got a mouthful of chocolate. Last bit of Christmas shopping for the same. We've got Christmas crumpets on in the toaster. I don't know what I'm pointing at. Um, then we're going to get the last Christmas shopping today. And then I need to wrap as many things as possible because I've only got today and two days left. I'll go back to work for a few days and then off for the Christmas slight little break. So uh, I'll take you along with this going shopping today. So that will be nice. And then wrap stuff together later. Got my Christmas crumpets. Okay, we have been to a train shop so I can get a voucher for the set up for Christmas. So that's. That's sorted and now we are outside B&M and about to go do a little bit of shopping to get a few little bits now because I realised I've got two people really left to get. So yeah, great. I can't wait to just get all the wrapping out of the way and just enjoy Christmas. I love wrapping but it's just like, I feel like this year's not as exciting. I'm not actually looking forward to it that much. I like wrapping but I don't like it at the same time because it takes hours. Do you guys like wrapping? I like making them look pretty. I don't really know what I'm talking about to be honest. Anyway, let's just go B&M. Have I got you some cheese, Belle? Do you want one? Ooh! Christmas flavour! No! Nicely! Good girl. Well done. Also pick these up for Bella. Do you want one now, Belle? Alright, 6-2. Where's this? Sit. Stay. Four. Good girl. Off we go then. So I've just wrapped up Luna's gifts in this gift box that Lizzie gave to me because we have to reuse things. She didn't actually write on the on the uh, label anyway, so I've been able to reuse it. Thanks, Lizzie, for that. Very, very handy. So I've put Luna's presents in here. I'm going to take it to the post box. post box. Post office soon. And I've wrapped it all very classically with the brown paper and string. Really hope she likes it. If you're watching, Luna, I really hope you like this box. And I'm about to put some little tissue paper in there and send it off in the post that gets to her before Christmas time. This is such a cute idea. I literally love it. Okay, we have a little bit of a B&M haul for you. So I literally go to B&M like so often. I'll never even show you what I have or what I've bought from there even. So I bought this bottle. It was £4 and it's like pink and rose gold with this kind of weird design, as you can see. And it's 1.8 litres and I want to drink more water because I should. Because I have this and I literally have like one of every day because I can't see how much is in it. So if I see how much is in the bottle, I'll drink it more. That looks quite nice. And it has like one of them, you know, them tops where it's like a push, you know what I mean, thing. So I've got the doggo <laughs> squeaky toy. And it's like a little sweet for a pound. That was on special buy. Got some biscuits for whoever else I've forgotten to get some it for. <laughs> then I've got a card for my mum. I have some chocolates for my mum, which is from my stepdad. And then I've also got my mum some gorgeous 
gorgeous slippers. I, I actually wanted these myself. They look so pretty and like so luxurious for B&M and they're only six pound. And it has like this little, is that a bell? No, it's, it looks, it sounds like a bell. Look at that. But these look absolutely lovely and they feel quite sturdy as well. So she needs more sturdy slippers because the ones are just trashed. So I thought I'd just get her some nice slippers for Christmas. So they're lovely and pink. I'd love a pair of these myself. Also got them on some slippers with Al on these are three pound and they're a two pack nice fluffy socks and then i also bought some godiva masterpieces caramel lion and milk caramel lion with milk chocolate chocolate and these are more for myself because saffron actually gave me one of these ages ago and i thought they were really nice i bought christmas treats for myself and that looks like everything that i got from dna really i'm gonna go send this parcel for luna then probably come back go to costa tesco because i'm actually running low on twine if i'm honest i've used loads already so i'm going to need probably about four four more of those i think um and then i think i'm going to need yeah maybe two more rolls of this as well so go to tesco and grab that i'm going to have enough cards and things so that's all fine yeah i think that is everything but there's a massive pile on the floor which you guys probably seen earlier on in the vlog of things that i need to wrap up so there's a lot of wrapping that is going to be happening either this evening or the next few days because it needs to be done. But yeah, there's a little B&M haul for you. I'm gonna go and post that now and um, see you in a little while. Okay. So I just realized throughout that whole vlog, <laughs> Adam pajamas fell on his head. <laughs> hmm. I thought you had a Santa hat on, babe. There's loads of mini ones. You funny sausage, shove that on your face. <laughs> Excuse the hair situation. We are just going to, well, I'm literally losing my bag at the moment. We're going into Costa to get a drink. And then to Tesco to get some wrapping paper. That sausage. What the hell was that? Oh. Poor babe. No! It's it didn't fall out. I was just thinking it was closed. How adorable are they? Mm. <laughs> just shoving that up your ball. My favourite section. Ooh. Quinoa bites, babe. This is why we love the reduced section. 62p. How much is the steak? 125. And 125. More reduced things. So they're 94p. There's more of their muffins there. So this is what we picked up from Tesco. I bought the Plant Chef fake steak with garlic melt. And this was £1.25 down from £2.65. I wanted to try this, but I thought it was a little bit pricey. So I'm glad that it was in the reduced section because this was the only way I was actually going to buy it because of a cheapskate. We all know this, but we like bargains. And um, we've got plant chef breaded meat free goujons. And these were only 62p down from 150. Like 150 isn't even that bad anyway. And then I've got some of these squeaky bean, mildly delicious plants, ready to eat hot and spicy chicken salt pieces. I bought the barbecue ones, which I haven't actually tried yet, but I thought they're normally £3 and I got it for £1.20. So I thought, you know what? Try that. Have it with a bit, maybe some salad or something. That'd be nice for lunch tomorrow. Stick them in the freezer. I know it says don't freeze, but it still stays fresh. We stick it in the freezer, so why not? So let's chat to you whilst I um, just put these in the freezer. So I've just ordered my brother and his uh, fiance. Oh my God, this isn't even gonna fit in the freezer. I've just ordered them a takeaway. And uh, well, I ordered it about an hour ago and they uh, just received it. Basically, Food Hub, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you will see the stories. Um, that basically Food Hub are a takeaway app that doesn't take away the profit from takeaway places basically. So Food Hub is really good for the fact that like they don't take money off businesses, especially during this really hard time where people are struggling for money. So the fact that this app basically doesn't take any profit off of the where am I going to put this? Doesn't take any profit off any of the businesses basically and they support small businesses. So I ordered a takeaway courtesy of Food Hub themselves. They gave me a voucher to spend um, to get them like a nice surprise takeaway as they're actually in quarantine right now. So um, they can't really go anywhere. So a nice takeaway would cheer them up. So I ordered that for them and they've got a nice pizza meal deal for them and um, yeah, they really enjoyed it. I FaceTimed them and to see what they got and they're now chomping away on that. So I hope you guys enjoy that. James and Sheree and little Hugo. I think I've got that in there. Yep, there we go. So yeah, I hope that they enjoyed that. I'm going to order myself and 
nice that would add a, a takeaway now so we have one as well from food hub and uh, i'll show you that in a little while i'll do a review as well and also got my new wrapping paper good they, they didn't have any strings so i thought you know what it's gonna be a bit boring just brown so i thought i'll get some christmas pudding ones that's quite cute do some wrapping over the next couple of days because i really need to get it done like it's ridiculous how many things i need doing i know i keep saying it but there's so many things i need to wrap it's just crazy i also picked up this poisonetta from mom it's got cute little glitter on the top how nice is that and it's plastic free glitter so well done tesco very cute for two pounds so i'm gonna go get comfies on probably have a wash and then get pajamas on and um chill for the evening and wait for the takeaway to arrive actually oh. nice and cozy there babe. you know it's a bit strange you see how the nice tread on the, the paws don't wear down it's a bit strange isn't it mm. what it said like the pads on the paws don't wear down on mm. yeah. she needs some coconut oil on her paws though don't you Belle? a little bit dry a little cutie boy can't really see it Okay, we're just ordering a takeaway from Food Hall. I'm ordering from my favourite, favourite Indian, Indian Empire, it's a gold tray. They are spot on. And they weren't on this app before. And now they are, so I'm going to order. So I'm ordering a... Yeah, we have. Well, I've got a bit of hot chocolate left, but I've ordered a chicken madras, special pathia, poppadom, large boiled rice, keema naan, chilli naan, lamb madras, and large fried rice. So I'm going to order it. You do, Belle. Have you got rice for yours in here? <laughs> yeah, I've got rice. Right, I'm going to order it now. Well, it's not the Takeaway has arrived. Fucking good. Mmm, this is absolutely left. I've got a vegetable pasta, on, chili naan bread, and boiled rice. I am literally gonna devour this. And a bag of poppadoms. Good morning. So today we are going to town to get the last of the Christmas presents. And then I have, I know I've literally said this how many times in this video that I need to wrap presents. Like, I'm dreading wrapping all of those well obviously you saw the fact that i wrapped a few last night but guys there's so many to wrap like especially add-ons there's so much to do like honestly i can't believe how much those i think i need to get more um gift bags because they are definitely not big enough so yeah i think i need to do that get a couple of big gift bags today what is going on with this kink in my hair i put it up in a bun last night and i really hate it and it does this and it like poofs out from here so that's annoying um, but yeah, we're going to have some breakfast and um, go shopping basically. I'm kind of dreading it at the same time because I want to go to Primark, have that like final shop to see if there's anything else I want to pick up for Christmas. Excuse me, I keep oh, no. oh. I had a late one last night because me and Lizzie were chatting on the phone for a good like hour and 40 minutes talking about the new year and like video ideas and content in general. So we've literally planned the entire year. Like, would you believe I've got video ideas for the entire year? There's a couple of months where I've not got loads of ideas, but that will come in time because I don't want to plan like too much because I know things change and stuff like that. And hopefully, we'll be having some moving vlogs, so that's exciting. I'm also planning on doing um, a video of all the bits and pieces that I picked up from my house. I say my house, I mean my Adam's house, sorry, for when uh, we move in because you know we have that bottom drawer, so to speak, so we don't have to buy loads of stuff like panic buy when we get a house i'm gonna do a video in the new year of that nearer the time because i'll have more stuff um then but i've literally got so much at the moment it's taking up so much room in my room so that's annoying <laughs> i also want to get a mattress topper for this bed from Denal, but they're like 80 pound i'm like a bit much i will stop rambling and we shall go out to go shopping i'm just in primark and look at all the good accessories that they have these bags are so nice we know like this one okay back to the car I would say quick Primark trip, but it wasn't. I went on my own because uh, we knew that I'd probably end up dragging out of my Primark and we don't really want to do that. So I've got... Disabled. No, you're not disabled. Shut up. I've got two massive bags there. I think I'll show you what I got when I got back. Uh, got back, get back from our outing. We're just going to drop some chocolates and a card into the Skin Ladies because they've been fab 
for us this year, so I thought I'd drop them a little Christmas gift. While I went to get a Costa, I bought a fair few things in Primark. It wasn't busy when I went in, like, because we went in about half ten, quarter to eleven, and then as I went to the till, it all of a sudden got so busy in there. Like, town was so busy today. Obviously, it would be because it's the last weekend before Christmas, so it's been a bit crazy. So, yeah, we'll go drop this off and then go get a warm drink. Stopped to get a Greg's slicing is terrible. Got a vegan sausage roll and I've got a cappuccino. Are you alright there? Hot, a bit hot. Oh, show me the Christmas cup. They look so cute. Can you see it? Yeah, you can't afford the Christmas rush. <laughs> so cute. Hello, so I haven't actually spoken to you guys in quite a while. I hope it's in focus. I've been wrapping presents for quite a while now. And I've got partially wet there. I've got like a big pile here of things to wrap. A pile here wrapped. I'm kind of getting sick of it. Halfway there. So need to wrap Adam's presents. So let's just get a time lapse going. Let's go. Miss this in Christmas times. Oh, oh, and sunset, it is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Rella, what? Got Bella wrapped up in a little bow. Oh, boo. Oh, so, wrapping is two thirds of the way done. I have Adam's things to wrap and then a few little other bits and pieces. Got the most, got most of it out of the way. And then under here, so just in case Adam sees, all of his stuff is under there. So, uh, I'll wrap them tomorrow. I thought I'd give you a little bit of a Primark haul because I went to Primark today. So I shall show you what I got today, basically. I feel like I'm so out of breath because I just ran upstairs with the dog. So uh, we got this lovely pink bag, which is like a Louis Vuitton store bag. I feel like this is so nice, especially like when, I know like I'm thinking very far ahead here, when spring comes in. I feel like this would be such a nice bag to use. It's such a nice pinky colour. And it was £10. I love the quilted part here. Obviously you can take it apart if you want to, but I love it like this. I think it looks really nice. And then it actually looks nice with this jumper. I feel like the colours are very spring-like, even though we're in winter still. This was £12, this jumper. Like, sweater thing. I thought I'd grab that. Because I don't actually own any of these sort of jumpers, things. So I thought I'd pick that up in a two extra small. And I compared it to a small in another jumper, and it was literally the same size. So not really sure what's going on with their sizing, but alright, bottom up. I know they're supposed to be oversized, but yeah. Anyway, look at these stunning boots i could not resist i thought these were absolutely gorgeous and they were 22 pound i thought it was a little bit pricey for promo but because these are so on trend i feel like that's actually a bargain at the same time i absolutely love the pointed toe and the block heel i really like that that was more like a, a rectangle than a square but yeah they are absolutely lovely lovely they feel really nice as well so i'm very happy with that purchase of those and I picked up some, got these lovely earrings that actually match, like, they're very similar to the ones I'm wearing, basically, I wouldn't say match, but. And then I got these lovely nails, couldn't resist, I thought they looked really, really pretty. Might wear them for Christmas. Then I got a really cute scrunchie bow, it's in, like, a creamy colour, I feel like these are very bridal vibes. And then I've got an after mask mask in, what's this one? Cucumber hyaluronic acid, and this one is Australian tea tree oil and salicylic, sal what? Salic lick what? <laughs> Acid to target blemishes. So I thought these would be good to try tonight. And then I also got a really cute Christmassy scrunchie, which is tis the season. This is 150, so I'm gonna wear this literally all week to work. And then my sister-in-law actually gave me these as well. How adorable are they? I thought they're so cute. Definitely get them. On my nails. So now all that wrapping is pretty much done and my back is in bits. I'm going to pack for tomorrow, get some outfits done, and um, yeah, chill for night probably. And I need to upload tomorrow's video because I haven't even started editing that yet. And it's the Christmas present exchange video that I did with Lizzie. So I need to get that done. But no, I say tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's video is already up. I mean Wednesday's video, so that'll be Christmas Eve Eve that that goes up. 
If you haven't seen that already, please do check it out. It's, it's rather cute. So I'm going to get ready, uh, pack this bag, do you have not an edit? Got some bubble wrap. <laughs> Good morning. So I actually haven't vlogged this morning because I've been getting ready for a shoot day with this one. So we're currently walking into Kuma to take photos in, uh, well, outside Kuma Hotel, sorry. And I'm just casually carrying my heels and this handbag. Glamorous life of a influencer. So this is the first outfit. So coat is from Primark and this dress I bought. When did I buy this? I had all in a year for like five pounds from the start and then Primark shoes and Coco Bell bag on it. Okay everyone, outfit number two. And I've got a black dress, literally I'm in all black. Sophie's got a sequin dress on because I just literally just had mine on. And it's so freaking cold and it's quite difficult shooting as well because all these cars kept coming past us and then one of the security people were like, you paid for taking professional photographs? And we're like, is it professional? <laughs> so uh, we're gonna take more cold photos in our cold dresses. Okay, we're back in the car. We've been to Coombe, we did two outfits and then thought, you know what, it's too cold. It was about to rain and we decided to come to the shopping park to get some Christmas cards, that was it, and gift bags. And we're about to open our Christmas presents that we gave each other because obviously this is the only way we're gonna do it. Socially distance anyway. So yeah, we're gonna open our presents together. We've just been in the charity shops as well, didn't really find anything. Now we're gonna go to Morrison's and just have a nosy around, really. So shall we open some presents? Mm -hmm. You go first. Or should we open one, one each? Yes, chocolate. Yes, chocolate. Aww, it's like a little cracker. <laughs> Is there any ones you want me to open first? No, just any any old order. Let's go just for it. Let's do the unwrap, but you'll see why. I think I saw a face mask earlier. Mm. Like a chocolate orange one. Yeah. What is this? Oh, this is easy to open. Baking soda and rice starch power scrub. What sort of this do? Do not eat. <laughs> Don't be fooled, this cleanser may seem good enough to eat, but it's not food, honestly. So how does that work? Oh, wait, it's here. Let me give that a go. Love how it's vegan and, free, uh, vegan and uh, cruelty free. I can't remember what that is. See, I can't remember what I've wrapped for you. Mm. Oh, I remember what you have. Oh, I think you got me some of my favourite. Oh my god, you wrapped this how I wrapped some of your bits a bit like this. So we got self tanning lotion. Oh, I love how you got me dark. Love dark. And my favourite. I know I go for medium. I know you go for. Yeah, really, really dark you, because you I like, like really dark tan. Oh, really nice. pale over there, yeah. Ooh, I like the pink. I thought you'd uh, have fun with those, especially over the Christmas yeah. period. Yes. Body wash. What's it all vegan friendly? Uh, oh, I literally love this. Thank you. I think I only have like a little tube of this at home, which I haven't used because I know that I'd use it so quickly. Please tell me you've popped on yet. Vegan friendly skincare. Well, not just skincare, just everything. Vegan friendly everything? Yeah. Because you know that I like to, I want to head towards vegan and cruelty free products oh, really. Oh, oh, yeah, I've got it here. Oh, coconut whitening toothpaste. Yeah. Oh, is that right, Daisy? Hold. Hold. <laughs> Daisy, hold. <laughs> Finger. <laughs> Finger here, please. That didn't sound right at all. See, what we normally do is Ooh. we normally have an annual Christmas dinner. Oh yeah, that's that frankincense and myrrh that is. Um, we normally have a Christmas dinner and obviously we couldn't have that this year because you know it's open and you know, we all know why. Ooh, shampoo. Ooh. What's this smell like? Very organic is what that smells like. Ooh. Body mist, paradise. Yes, yeah, so have a like... spritz. There's that much in it. So right, that's, <laughs> that's nice actually. You know that's vegan and free. Yeah, it? I think we've kind of got each other the same sort of thing. Yeah. My little pamper stuff. Yay! I had a feeling you'd get me these. These are pretty. Nice festive nails. Yeah. And I have some fresh lemongrass daily moisturiser because I said to Sophie that I literally run out of moisturiser so fast. It's the only thing that I don't stock up on very well. And we have oh, some face masks. Chocolate and orange face masks. Do you want to see the one? Oh, Argan hair therapy. It's a hair mask. Look at the back. See, it's like Christmas is for up in here. <laughs> I just said to her that I need to record her opening this one. There you go. That is exactly why I needed to record it. She literally loves Stitch. Oh, 
Guys, look, guys, look. You know when we went to Primark together? Yeah. That's literally when I bought it. I hid it in the basket so you can see it. Yeah. You know when I kept like wandering off? Uh, That's why I went to get that. I did so good. Little phone ring hold. Food shopping. Evening, so I haven't actually picked the camera up since we were in Morrison's. And I'm currently watching Arthur Christmas with the lovely ladies on uh, Instagram. And we've got uh, this group chat. I'm part of the AK Cinema Chat tonight. So I thought we'd watch them with the lovely ladies. Um, guys, if you want to ever want to join that, message Katie Kurt Love or Abby. Message one of those, and they'll let you join. It's every Sunday. They watch either Netflix or Disney Plus, and it's really, really sweet. I've actually finally had the time to sit and watch it with them because sometimes I'm at work on a Sunday, so it's been really nice to actually sit and watch this. But now I'm gonna go have some curry whilst I'm watching this, and then I'm gonna wrap some presents as well. Is that be cute? Cute. Make me feel Christmassy. So current situation, about to wrap all these little presents. Got Adam's in here. Um, I'm gonna wrap up a little one for Bella because I thought we can't really leave her out. Them a little bit stuff. Sophie got me for Christmas, which I need to find a home for yet. And uh, just wrapping up my mum's presents that are from my stepdad. Thought that would be nice for her because she likes baking as well. So use that and then she loves these creams. And I'll wrap them in a very nice bow. So that'd be quite cute. I can't believe how this is looking. Like all these presents are taking over my room. Like this is ridiculous. James is real if you're watching. That is your big bag. Yep. And that is Adam's. <laughs> Talk about a spoil. Oh my goodness. All the presents are wrapped. Finally. Took me a while but... That's a wrap everybody. We have actually come to the end of Vlogmas, which I'm actually very sad to say. Christmas is in four, five days now? Five sleeps or is it four sleeps? Either one. So I won't be vlogging the week of Christmas because I'm working. Christmas day, obviously we're off and then we're off for that break, but I don't think I'll be vlogging then anyway. I have a lot of plans for the new year, video wise, because I had a call with Lizzie the other night. I think I actually told you about that, like an hour and 40 minutes. I don't know why there's been something in my eye like literally all day today. I was on the phone to Lizzie for about an hour and 40 minutes the other night purely talking about video ideas we were initially going to do just the first six months and we ended up doing a whole year of video ideas because like because we're already in the festive period already thought of video ideas for next december and vlogmas and things like that so that is already prepped my next video is and um, it's an unboxing so it will be the positivity package which is like a festive edition so that'll be out um just after christmas day that okay so this will be out, this video is out on sunday and the next video is out on wednesday at half seven so you, please do check that out it is absolutely lovely video of a brand that is honestly so needed right now especially with this year it is such a good brand to order a package for yourself or your family or just someone that's having a hard time or just a little pick me up it is a lovely brand to go and buy a box from basically so please do check that video out when it comes out but i really hope you've enjoyed vlogmas 2020 please excuse the fact that i literally have no makeup on but you know this is the real side of me i hardly ever wear makeup just skincare because i love skincare so i really hope you have had a amazing christmas hope you've got everything that you asked for and you had time with family and just enjoy christmas as much as possible and chilled and just watched all the christmas movies and just ate all the good food i really hope you've had an absolutely lovely christmas thank you so much for all your support this year guys and thank you so much for just being there basically i'm just getting really teary actually because it's been really emotional year and you guys have been just great so thank you again for all your support i'm literally gonna start crying for god's sake bring yourself together as well but yeah thank you so much everybody for watching this year it's been absolutely lovely seeing your comments if you haven't commented before please do because i love to see you watching my videos and interact with you guys so i'll see you in the comments and i shall see you in my next video merry christmas and i hope you will have an amazing 2021 so much better than this year so see you next year everybody bye i love you all so much